Greetings Internet, this is BJ Black and welcome to part 7 of my walkthrough of the demo of part 3 of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG. It's time for the great decision, so let's see what the event looks like for Alice first. We've seen this warning before. <clears throat> Lilith and Astaroth. And the throne with no one seated. Finally, I've arrived. I have returned as the 16th Maul. As the successor to the 15th Maul, you are reinstated to the Maul seat. You understand what that means. As our comrade in the World Unification Plan, we welcome you wholeheartedly. Inheriting the blood of the Dark God, you are the proper Mao of this world. With this, Alice has finally reached the throne. As the Mao who rules the world, and as a comrade alongside the Dark God. So, that's that. My mission's accomplished. <laughs> you have done well bringing the Mao and her entourage. You have distinguished yourself, Morgan. Henceforth, I too will assist in the God Dark God's plan for the purpose of averting the ruin of this world by any means. So then, you understand, right, Luca? I need not ask you what you intend to do. So then, the hero Luca's choice is what? Oh yeah, of course. Hero Luca, you must not be taken in by the demon's enticements. Minions of the Dark God, don't go trying to advance as you please just before our arrival. Now is the time of the great decision. The hero's destiny is to walk the path that the goddess guides him on. Appearing here, we have the three seraphim. And so, three each from the heaven and the demon world glared at each other. Hmm, now you've come too, huh? You guys too are desperate to obtain the hero. We fully anticipated interference from the goddess world. We'll eliminate you here and now. Okay, no, no, wait, hold up. The last time you six fought, it almost triggered the end of the world. It wasn't that long ago. And since this is the Alice side, you should remember that. Ugh, idiots. And truly, this is becoming an explosive situation. At that moment, when Lilith and Eden were about to make their moves... Hold that thought for now. Unexpectedly, a voice commanded the room. The formidable forces stopped in their tracks from the heavy pressure. Now is the time where Luca, destroyer of worlds, lays down his decision. This petty squabbling is inappropriate. Sa Saja sama The real thing? No, a vision. Ha! What can a mere vision do? Let's carry on and beat these three succubus sisters to death. Hold, Seraphim. We ought not dirty the moment of this solemn decision with blood. Seraphim, just for now, seize your blades. Rafaira sama, to think that you would come yourself. No, like that ancestor, this is a magical image. Anyway, we should not fight now. Hmm. It's obnoxious, but I concur. Until Luca lays down his decision, we have a ceasefire, do we not? 
Yes, until Luca makes up his mind. Until then, let us have no feud in this place. So, the fighting breaks out once Luca decides. Got it. Not really surprised there, honestly. Saja and Raffaella took command of the room. And everyone present concentrated their gazes on me alone. Come, Luca. Now is when you lay down your great decision. Will you obey the Dark God, Alice Sama, and carry out the unification of the worlds, or... Will you, under the Goddess Elias Sama's guidance, advance the Ark Plan? Mm -hmm. Finally, the time has come. But there's no way that I, alone, can lay down such a critical decision. I've only gotten this far thanks to the power of my allies. So, I need to consult with them. Could I have a little time? I want to consult with my allies. Understood. We'll wait. After one hour, we'll ask again for your decision. Until then, blood is not allowed to be shed in this place. You understand this, Seraphim? We accept, if that be the guidance of Ilias Sama. We too have no objection to a temporary ceasefire. Luca, we're anticipating a wise decision from you. I believe in you, Luca. Let's adventure together again. What a dork. With the great decision in front of us, we were given time to consider it. To follow the dark god, or to follow the goddess. In this single hour, I need to make a firm resolution. Phew. Well, okay, here's the deal. It says we're going to call and our allies, but frankly, they have little to add to the perspective we've already got. I'll interview a few that I found interesting, though. The Dark God and the Goddess each have their own plan for salvation. There are problematic points with each of them, it's true. Ultimately, there can't be any choice but a negative one. The world is a difficult place. What are you saying? Don't go on with that talk, you'll give Luca two minds about it. No matter how the world is, you proceed along the path you believe in. It must be nice to be as simple-minded as a single-celled lizard. What you say? What, I wonder? Both of their moods are tense, but still I can feel the trust that they have in me. So anyway, Undine is unique in acknowledging that the shortcomings of both sides are difficult to live with. Everyone else either takes a side and blows off that side's faults, or they don't care or don't know about the intricacies. It seems like Gnome is worried for me. Though she is mute, she conveys that feeling. Somehow this has become a real serious thing. My head's all chee pop pa so I don't get the complex stuff. Whichever you pick, Luca, we'll follow you. We'll always be together. It seems that Sylph believes in me. Whichever choice I take, she'll follow me. So over here is Tamomo's room. I didn't visit it earlier. I could have, but I didn't. Alice says the same stuff she's been saying up to now, and Tamomo's siding with the Dark God too, which is a bit disappointing since I thought she would take a perspective broad enough to see that both choices suck. So I'm just here to talk to these two. The goddess or the dark god. You'll enter the cabin of the one you choose and become the enemy of the one you don't choose. I really don't have any interest in matters of, matters of governance, so I'll follow your decision. 
to speak my mind, the side that puts out the most research funds... <clears throat> no, no, forget about that. I'm glad some of you around here at least consider straight up being mercenary. To side with the Dark God, or perhaps to side with the Goddess. On the inside, you've already got your answer, don't you? I will positively never take the side of the Goddess. If you become the Goddess's slave, then this is where we part. Now I'm here for this. Picking one side purely despite the other? That's Alistromelia for you. But even saying that, you're a clever boy. I believe that you won't become a tool of the Goddess. The fate of the hero who obeyed the Goddess? You should already know that. Nobody could forget that scene at the Sinner's Sealed Prison. Nor is she doing this to avenge Heinrich. Alistromeri is a complex character. Alistromelia loathes Ilias. If I should take the goddess aside, Alistromelia will leave my party. It doesn't mention those characters that only joined at Alistromelia's behest, though. Uh, Lilith and Lilum, the twins, and the three black nobles. You know, those two boss encounters from the past. I'd assume they would follow her, but there's no mention of it. Anyway, if they aren't going to show their faces and Alistair Milley doesn't care enough to mention them, I guess they don't matter. Hilda doesn't understand the complex things. Master, decide whom I should hit. Whoever the opponent is, I'll fight with Master. Hilda was created for that purpose. Remember when we first recruited Hilde? She seemed important. Nowadays, all the plot just flies over her head and all she can ask is... All she can do is ask whom to hit. Like a not-too-bright guard dog. Well, I'd give her head pats. And sicker on people I don't like, because... yeah. Important conversation here. <clears throat> Q? Q! Q! Brilliant and Zyla as usual, Nuriko. Good girl. I've spoken with our allies waiting in the pocket my old castle. Everyone is choosing to follow you. Whichever choose, choice you make, Luca. We have, all of us, been attracted to you, which brought us together. So we're with you to the end. <laughs> and Sonia's always been a good, reliable girl, too. Which is especially value because Luca's kind of a doofus. Yeah, follow the dark god or follow the goddess. Jeez, what a heavy decision. Well, personally, the dark god world is more my thing. Anyway, I'm not fated to be in some heaven built by a goddess. Lazaro, can you hear my voice? The allies of the hero, joining with the goddess, will be taken into heaven unconditionally. Huh? Really? Uh, damn, that sounds great. Uh, Luca, let's take the goddess aside. Mr. Lazaro, what are you saying? Well, of course, Lazaro would turn on a dime for personal benefit. He hasn't received a lot of face time on our journey, but it should have been apparent he's not big on scruples. Here we have Alma Elma's room. Why is this angel faction gathered up in my room, I wonder? But forget about that. Lukacha, have you already decided to side with the Dark God or to side with the Goddess? Whichever it is, I'll help you out, Lukacha. What? I've grown to like you, Luca Cha. Whatever you pick, I'll become your ally. She'll become my ally, even in the case I choose the Ilias faction. I wonder just what is going on in her head. 
Yeah, I think the dialogue would be a little different if you didn't recruit her this playthrough, but the gist will basically be the same. You're the peril of World Heinrich? Why are you here? After we met, a strange rabbit brought me with her and I met Ilyasama. Then I was guided to this mysterious world. I've heard the general details of the situation. There is an extinction crisis approaching all the parallel worlds and such. Of course, I'll obey Ilyasama. If you will also take Ilyasama's side, then you'll be my comrade. Even saying that, you make the choice that you won't regret. For the sake of the people who believe in you, even if you turn your sword against the goddess. Heinrich here is a real good guy. He's chosen his side, but he'll respect Luga even if he chooses differently. That's a rarity around here. <coughs> Heinrich is a hero who follows and obeys Elias. If I take the goddess's side, then Heinrich should join my party. Okay. Our adventure with Elias Samo was so fun, but this is our farewell now, for good. From now on, it's too dangerous for you two. Our journey together does end here. But we'll be able to meet again any time. I shall make a room for you in my temple. Yay! We'll always be together, Ilya-sama! Heaven is full of angels, right? I wonder, will they accept me in Putuko? That is not a problem. You two are angels, after all. Aiden, Puturel and Idrel are angels, are they not? If Ilya-sama speaks so, then of course they are angels. Puturel and Inuel. Let their names be writ in the roster of the angels. These two are my loyal servants who accompanied me in my time of distress. Should there be any angel who shall object to this, you know what to do, yes? Puturel and Inuel are loyal angels. If any shall doubt that, I will, properly, turn them to charcoal. Typical. Huh? How did you come this far? I received the assistance of Heinrich from the past, and of even. With them, I followed you and arrived here. I also grasp the principal details of the current situation. Luca, you are at the crossroads of a great decision, are you not? Up to now you have been on your journey with the Mao, but it is still not too late for you to return to the righteous path. Separating from the darkness, you shall tread the path of light. Henceforth you shall fight with me as a true hero. Well, this small Elias is the same person as the Elias of the goddess world. If I take the goddess's side, Elias should join my party. Well, just a couple more observations from this lot. You haven't taken the angel's nonsense as true and misunderstood about our world, right? We're not brutes. The strong preying on the weak isn't the law or anything. The weak gather together and defend themselves in groups. Even in our freedom, there is still a proper order to things. Stronger people don't just rampage about as they please. I think that the Angel Society is way more harsh. Those guys classify people into first and class and s first class and second class and such, right? We have a status hierarchy in our world too, but whether you rise and fall in it is entirely up to you. In the end, that's the same as your world, right? Whether it's the Monster Society or Human Society, it doesn't change that much. That being the case, you'll do well in our world. So let's keep fighting together. 
Morgan may be kind of an idiot, but nobody else on the demon world side has really taken the time to address that Law of the Jungle objection. This weak people banding together concept really isn't that hard. I mean, Morgan thought of it. <clears throat> Morgan is affiliated with the Dark God faction. Naturally, if we take the goddess aside, Morgan will leave our party. The chaos progress rate is 101%. Since the Type 3 Severed World contact at Elias Temple, it dis declined inexplicably. Even with the situation this divergent from history, Apoptoses are not appearing. The fundamental cause is unknown. Yeah, that's because you fled before Nuriko did her thing. Anyway, that's them. It occurs to me just now that I only spoke to the ones that got hit by Sonia Chaos way back when. The others aren't athletic interesting. <clears throat> but before the decision, let me break this down as I see it. This isn't a choice between the good guys and the bad guys, the utopia and the dystopia. It's a cho choice between two sets of bad guys, each with their own dystopias. The game hasn't framed it so simply yet, but I believe the rest of part three will make it clear. There's no one world with free. There's one world with freedom and no justice, and another world with justice and no freedom. I mean, I would apply real praxeological principles, and the demon world is the obvious choice, but this is a fictional world. Ultimately, real, applying real-world praxeology to reach this conclusion makes as much sense as applying real-world physics to prove magic doesn't exist, or applying real-world biology to prove monster girls don't exist. It only applies in the game world if it's sufficiently similar to the real world. In any case, I think the game dem maker will demonstrate that it doesn't. Anyway, if I'm correct, there's really no need to rack our brains about making the right choice here. Both sides are wrong. I'd go so far as to say that both will fail in their primary of saving their worlds from destruction. Both the unification plan and the arc plan will fail, I assert. But that's something to be proven over in the full version. And that's beside the point anyway. And really the point is there's no right decision, so we may as well make the choice based on any arbitrary desiderata that we happen to embrace. For this video, my desideratum is I'm picking the first option and then the second option. Have you made up your mind, Luca? Ahead, the authorities of the Dark God and the Goddess are waiting. With the wait moment of the great decision before me, I... Think about it a little more. Or have already made up my mind. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, let's go. I've already made up my mind. Finally, with this, I shall decide which path we should take. Those are good eyes. Your determination is hidden in them. It seems that you have made up your mind, destroyer of worlds. It appears that you have selected the path you should take. Let us hear it, child of judgment. Will you take the side of the Dark God, executing the World Unification Plan, or will you obey the Goddess Ilyasama and advance the Ark Plan? This decision is a great fork. The objective we fight for and the opponent we fight against depends on this choice. I must make my reply carefully. After all, this decision will decide the fate of the world. Well, first choice, then second choice, I said. The first choice is, take the side of the Dark God. Hmm, the righteous choice. Destroyer of worlds, 
Let us celebrate your decision. Ah, oh, what a foolish choice. To take the side of the Dark God means opposing us. What? Is that your first objection? That's a bad omen. Child of Judgment, you must once again reconsider. If you don't, we'll have to destroy you. Alright, that there is an explicit threat. Get bent. <clears throat> Redo my decision, or even so, side with the Dark God. Yep. So you will walk the same path as I. I believe that you would, Luca. Yahoo! We can keep fighting together! With this, I decided. Together with Alice, I took the side of the Dark God. Your intention, it will not waver. Then, there is no other way. Fulio, can you hear me? Commence option B, the Maul Castle Invasion Operation. Understood, Rafaela Sama. Transferring Invasion Squad to designated coordinates XY0067934. Wait, stop. That is not a proper coordinate pair. There's got to be some transformation from that atom to the actual local coordinates. This is Arkan Seal. <clears throat> Persuasion has failed, huh? Then, the next part is our job. This is Tsukuyomi. Putting all the monsters to death, we can take control of the castle, correct? To us, it is a simple mission. This is Hianua. Uh, Hainua. Hainuele. Haha, <laughs> and the sheet and no. Where are the sheet and no? Invading the Mao castle. You bastards, you had this planned if Luca refused you. It was kind of obvious, Alice, come on. We told you. The ceasefire was until the Child of Judgment laid down his decision. Those are artificial monsters. By the look of them, they have an unbelievable degree of completion. <laughs> Could this be your work, Promising? We are artificial Yoma, expressly created to defeat the Shiten No. The Shiten No are the strongest Yoma in this world. We who can defeat them cannot be threatened by anyone in this world. Okay, a countermeasure to the Shiten No. That damned Elias creating such monsters. Seraphim, restrain the three succubus sisters. If possible, kill them here. Understood. We shall it shall be as Elias Sama wills it. As expected, that's how this goes. We fully anticipated this. Let's go, Asteroid, Morgan. All right, leave those three to us. The little sisters have halted the three seraphim. Both sides are releasing offense and defense of equal measure. And now we get a clear shot of the four of them. You can see that there are the four to match the four she ten null. Those artificial monsters. Only three of them have spoken so far, though. That one in the lower right hasn't. Her name is Am Amphisbaina, according to the game files. We too cannot watch this quietly. Shito no, rally to me. Good grief, that Elias. When persuasion proves impossible, she attacks immediately. It's not like it's going to go any different if we chose the other side. Hey, come! The she didn't know I've come! She's too excited. 
those artificial monsters are they opponents just for us I've been feeling a hot enticing gaze on me for a while now it doesn't matter who the opponent is what the opponent is those who threaten tranquility I will destroy yeah. my opponent isn't here where's the renowned strongest swordsman Gran Belia She's retired. If your hands are free, then we'll be your opponent. No, that will not be required. Ark and Seal, stand by. Prepare for reinforcements from the Mao army. Yes, as you command. Your opponent shall be me. Furiel. Transfer my body to the Mao Castle. Understood. I shall transfer Rafael Asama's body. Designated coordinates XY 067934. Transfer gate open. What the? It can't be. The next instant, the air strained, as if to freeze the vicinity in place. Standing before us was someone entirely different from the vision she had been up to now. This oppressive feeling was of the same level as that time that we faced Tamamo of the Six Ancestors. One of the seven Archangels, Raphaela, has descended in the flesh. To be able to manifest an Archangel at will, Heaven's technology has progressed this far. In our world, there is technology that doesn't exist in the demon world. Come, I shall have you leave the stage now. Gah. In this form without substance, there is nothing I can do. Destroy our worlds. You must flee now. If an archangel is your opponent in flesh and blood, you have no chance. The vision of Saja is destroyed. You will not get away, child of judgment. I will capture you here and bring you before Elias Sama. Yeah, what power. I cannot even discern any chance to flee. If we can't flee, then we can only fight. We can't afford to lose here. Luca, it is as you say. We will be clashing with the goddess. We cannot allow ourselves to be sidelined by her underling. Ah, uh, what a futile struggle you will attempt. It will be troublesome to break your spirit while keeping your flesh whole. Standing in the way before us, the Archangel Raphaela. Clearly there's no doubting that she is an opponent several ranks above us. <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. But in this situation, fleeing is also impossible. So there's nothing to do but fight through with all of our might. A dilemma merely this bad won't break our spirits. Here I come, Riff Raffaella. No, they're always trying to get in the front line. Inconceivable for you to have this much power it's completely beyond our predictions. Even after taking so much damage, she still has power in reserve. As expected, it seems she's appropriately powerful. A report from Garrison 1. The second floor has fallen and the horde of angel soldiers has stormed the third floor. Our aerial forces are almost annihilated. Our control of the air has been taken by the angels. We aren't the only ones at a disadvantage, it seems. From everywhere in the Mao castle, desperate telepathic reports are reaching us. We're outnumbered, outmatched. If this goes on... In these conditions, the castle's fall is unavoidable. Mao-sama, you must escape from here right away. 
Don't be absurd. What do you say? Are you saying I alone should run? You fool. In Shogi, the game is lost when the king is taken. As long as you're safe, Maho-sama, though the castle may fall, it can be rebuilt. So yeah, Shogi is known as Japanese chess, and in them, the importance of the king is about the same. But to go and leave everyone who is fighting... Know that your insistency will only make the sacrifices greater. This is no... This is still no city of the game for dying in battle in this castle. Anyway, for now, withdraw to a safe location. Once you do, we can also retreat with the fewest sacrifices. Now I understand. I'll entrust this fight to you. Luca, we must temporarily retreat. Okay, understood. Do you think that I am resigned to let you flee? Get. Raphael is still in the way. At this rate, there's no way we'll be able to run. Leave it to us three sisters. We will restrain Raphael no matter what it takes. Uh, probably we can't hold it for long. Hora, go on, go on. Lilith, Morgan. Yeah, what about Astrod? Sorry, you guys. Let's go, Luca. Now we must escape the Mao Castle. No, we didn't get too far. Whoa there. We won't let you flee. All right, the Succubus sisters were restraining these three. Now they're free to attack us. I'll give the sinners no escape route. You bastards, don't hinder us. And now standing in our way is Sion and Gnosis. If we don't defeat them, we can't escape. Then I'll cut a path open with my sword. I felt we somehow had a connection with you guys. But if it's come to this, then there's nothing to do but kill you. Enemies of God. Obliterate. Targets. Two seraphim. Commencing battle. <laughs> I too am with you. You guys... <clears throat> Excuse me. People such as you, we won't let you have your ways. You're going to give us this hard of a time, are you? Somehow, we drove back. Shion and Gnosis. Finally, we f we're finding our way out. Even having driven us back, your faded ruin is unavoidable. Why do you dis resist despite this? It's needless to say, it's to overturn that faded ruin. Hmm, that's quite the spirit you've got. I'm tired of being the wallflower. Wallflower, I'll have you serve as my opponent. Gah, from one to the next. And before us, one after another, fierce opponents get in our way. Even though if we don't escape the Mao castle, we, together with the Mao army, can't avoid annihilation. So, here I come. Hey now! <clears throat> Satan Taisei suddenly interrupting blocks the attack from Ark and Seal. You stopped my attack? Who are you? You... You're... Hey, hey! Hearing a noise from not far off, you come closer to see. I'd ask why you, of all people, are anywhere near here, of all places. But let's just roll with this. Arriving here, I am Seiten Taisei Son Goku. 
The circumstance is, I come to assist the Mao army. You were, if I recall, the underling of Black Alice, right? Why are you helping us? Black Alice's dishonor made my blood boil a bit, you see. Bringing two dummies with me, I'm a runaway now. And then, the heat of battle allured me. Be grateful for the assistance of Son Goku-sama. Hmm. I see that you are a warrior equal to the Shiten no. As an opponent, I have no complaint with you. I stand unequaled as an unequaled god of war. I won't let you get bored. Yeah. Don't go ignoring us. Yeah. Tescatlipoca and Quetzalcoatl came flying in. By the way, these are my two dummy companions. Whom are you calling a dummy? And I'm not your companion either. The dummies are the both of you. Jeez, why have I landed in such circumstances? Shut your cans! What's your deal showing up one after the other? If you hinder us, we'll crush you all! And three original Yoma confirmed as hostile forces. Commencing extermination. Yeah! I hate angels even more than birds! It displeases me to say it, but I'm of the same opinion. I hate angels as much as I hate this stupid cat. The two angels clash with these two Yoma. A fierce battle unfolds. Good. Now's our chance. Come, Galda! Come here! Alright, fine. I decided to roll with it. Not questioning it. Breaking a window, Galda flew into the hall. Come on, all aboard. We've got to hurry while there's still time. Everyone's on, right? Go, Galda! Go in. Do you think we'll let you escape like this? Pursue them! You must catch the Child of Judgment! You must escape to safety no matter what. Mao-sama. Luka. Ah, tamamo. Whew. We've gotten pretty far from the Mao castle. That is we expect of you, Galda. Even those pursuers can't catch up. Kue! Kue! Yep, yep. Good girl, good girl. But I wonder how the remaining Mao army fared. I hope everyone is alright. They have Tamamo, who is battle-wise. There's no need to worry. She'll lead them all and should be able to withdraw skillfully. But the fall of the Mao castle is unavoidable. Tamamo-sama, leave this, uh, leave this group to me. As you ordered, I'll protect the Mao with all of my might. So then, what do we do now? According to our original plan, we were going to strengthen our position in the Mao castle, right? Correct. Now we need to somehow or other contact the Dark God. Wait a second, a strong presence is drawing near. There's a pursuer coming. Hold it right there, child of judgment. I, Aiden, will not let you escape. What amazing speed. She's caught up. There's no better option than intercepting her. Let's go. Refusing Elias Sama's invitation and joining hands with the Dark God. I, Eden, will render heaven's judgment upon you. We never thought we'd have to fight on Galda's back. Further, our opponent is Eden. 
and she's no enemy to get sloppy with. Probably Aiden is the only pursuer. If we can defeat her here, we can get away safely. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <coughs> They're strong, as expected. I too must take this seriously, mustn't I? Although Aiden is saying that, she has tremendous strength. Even though she was some holding back somewhere, our attacks and defenses were evenly matched. Don't hinder us, Eden. Bastards. If the alternative is letting you escape, I'll use the Holy Spear Longinus, granted to me by Ilyasama. From inside the light, Eden pulls out a single spear. That weapon isn't normal. You can perceive it in one glance. What is it, that spear? It's my first time ever seeing a weapon hiding that much power. That spear gives off an oppressive feeling greater than its wielder, Eden. It surpasses the level where a thing can be called a weapon. This is an unequaled holy relic which Ilyasama poured her magnificent power into. It is the ultimate spear, bringing to a mortal end whenever, whatever it penetrates by the authority of God. This is bad. If we let her use that thing, That is God's power, taken form and condensed into a holy spear. I felt the power from that spear equal to that, even of the six ancestors or the seven archangels. A spear that extinguishes those on whom it lands a hit. Against you, the child of judgment, I am hesitant to use it. But you are already a minion of the dark god. Destroy him, Longinus. Aiden lifted Longinus aloft. It was that moment. Hold, Aiden. Ilyasama? The goddess's voice announcing solemnly from the permanent. Aiden, just about to release the spear suddenly stopped that motion. It is not yet time for you to use Longinus. I will not allow you to use that spear on the Child of Judgment. But, but, if I let him get away, it will certainly cause great calamity. Will you defy my word? No, that is out of the question. That is good. Aiden, you must not use Longinus now. Then, the holy present, the presence that had appeared in that place disappeared. Aiden, in silence, restrained herself in midair. Good. Now, Galda, raise your speed. Quinn! Suddenly our speed increases and we leave Eden behind. Somehow or other, it seems she shows no sign of pursuing. This time for sure, it looks like we've shaken off our pursuers. Indeed, no more pursuers are coming. Finally making good our escape from the Maol castle, we breathe the sigh of relief. That Longinus or whatever had tremendous power. Even now it gives me the shivers. If she had used Longinus, we would have been wiped out. But why did Elias stop the use of the spear? Yeah, strange, wasn't it? Why would Elias call her off? Or did she? Could somebody have impersonated Elias to save us? Hmm. Well, once again, what do we do now? We can't return to the Maol castle anymore, right? 
given the circumstances, we should take the Maul Castle to be occupied by the Angels. Now we meet up with the Maul Army and make contact with the Dark God. Ta-da! Hmm. If somebody could make an impersonation of Elias. But is that too much of a long shot? Okay. We're in the sky! Or maybe she's just a dip. Oof. Hmm? Was there something just now? Once again, ta-da! Whoa! White Rabbit! Oh, it's you again. What have you come to do this time? At last, you got visited by the Great Decision. What you decided was to progress with the Dark God Alice. So, that being the case, I'll guide you to the Dark Alice God Alice Fees. You guys want to meet her too, right? That offer is a godsend. But this time your offer is straightforward in helping us. Up until now, you've pretended to be a bystander so much. Just what brought on this curious turn? I've told you any number of times, my role is to guide. That role has turned to guiding little Alice to big Alice. We're finally going, are we? To the gar Dark God right now? The great Dark God who opposes the goddess Elias, Alice, known only in legends. Now we're going to meet face to face with that mythic existence. And yeah, there's a typo here. It does say Goddess Alice. Probably a typo. And together with the Dark God, we'll fight the Goddess. That is the path we chose. So, that being the way it is, we can go right now. Are you prepared to meet the Dark God Alice? Okay, we are prepared. Or we aren't prepared. And given the circumstances, this is a rhetorical question, ain't it? Our answer doesn't matter. She's sending us to the demon world either way, I bet. Okay, we aren't ready. Wink, wink. Wait just a bit. There's still preparations. I'm not waiting. So then, here we go. Called it. The White Rabbit opens a gate to a different world. And we were guided to the Dark God's world. The Demon World. Mole Moose Quest Paradox RPG. Last chapter. Destroyer of Heaven. This concludes the trial version of the last chapter. Bam! Title screen. So that's the story. Side with the demon world and you get chased out of the Maul castle and warped off. Let's ha see how the other decision could, will result in a totally different outcome. Okay, because you can't save in that deliberation window, we have to watch this whole cutscene again. <laughs> faster, Pokey, faster! Okay, we're just about there. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> Second option. Take the side of the goddess. You will obey the guidance of Ilya-sama, will you? You have made the righteous decision. What a foolish choice. To obey the goddess is your own downfall. Right now, have you no intent to reconsider? We should not come into opposition here. 
Even so, take the side of the goddess. This heavy destiny. So you won't shoulder it along with me. Ah, oh, poor Alice. Alice and her group have left the party, and Elias and her group has joined the party. <laughs> you talk too much, y'all. So, yeah. I get a chance to swap characters in case I was heavily reliant on Alice and Alice Tromelia. And we can see Mikaela-chan and Lucifina-chan, even though they weren't present in the deliberation rooms. Heinrich is at the end with all the unimportant humans. Where are you at? There he is. Now, interesting. Where are they? I checked beforehand. Ah, yes. The Black Nobles are still here. Under, Even though they were under Alistair Mele's orders, as I noted earlier. And Lilith Lilim are... Here they are. Also here. Well, whatever, right? That is good, Luca. As expected, you are the one that I trust most. Destroyer of worlds, will you obey the goddess after all? Well then, I didn't want to do this, but there is nothing to do but destroy you. With this, I decided. Together with the little Elias Sama, I took the side of the goddess. It's unfortunate, but this is the contingency for Plan B. Here and now, we eliminate our greatest threat. Oh, silly or serious face from Lilith. Yeah, look from Lilith. Lilith and her group are looking intense, ready to kill. They really intend to finish us off. Villains, you prepared to attack us here? Like I told Alice, it was kind of obvious, Elias. Elias. Come on, everybody. Be at ease, Elias Sama. We too have made our own preparations. And then, as Raphaela stepped forward, full of confidence. Let's activate it now. The Severed World Blockade Malice magic that Alice V is the 15th left for us. Unexpectedly, the entire Mao castle was enveloped in a bizarre barrier. Lilith applied some th sort of magic to it. What is this technique? No way. Our other world access is being cut off. Washa. The vision of Raphaela disappeared. The rest is entrusted to you, Lilith sisters. Slay the Ilias party here. With those words, the vision of Sahaja disappeared. This is the magic that the Ma'o discovered in secret, right? Amazing, Raphael has disappeared. Duh, hey, hasn't Saja Sama disappeared too? Duh, <laughs> I never change you, violent idiot. This magic cuts off access from other worlds. Enemy and ally alike. We can't pull off such convenient crap as only cutting off our enemies. But this situation is greatly favorable. The Goddess Faction surely had a large, large force organized to conquer the Ma'ol Castle. And now, they can't come here anymore. We've got you cornered, Luca. Elias. Okay. The three little sisters approach us. And so, to interpose, three shadows danced out. Elias Sama, Hero Luca, we will restrain these three sisters. There's not a moment to lose. Escape from the Mao Castle. Alright, finally time for mayhem! 
for waiting meekly all that time. I gotta let loose. Our powers are evenly matched to allow Elias Sama to withdraw, executing delaying tactics. Seraphim, I entrust you with keeping them occupied. Luca, we must withdraw from here. Yes, everyone, retreat! There's nothing we can do but entrust Eden and the other two to take care of this. We've got to get away from the Mao castle as soon as possible. Ooh, what do we have here? The illusion of control? Let's put it to good use and put Minnie in the front of the party where she belongs. Ah, oh, yeah, that's uh, what I'm talking about. And here we are, facing a confrontation already. I've taken a harsh destiny upon myself. Okay, I didn't want to call you out about making your decision. It wasn't an easy one. But you admit that you took it upon yourself, so I don't want you to hear you bitching that it's harsh. Either suck it up and give up. Either suck it up or give up. Whining is not going to help. It's our fate in this world to turn between being allies and enemies. Although our bond is deep, I won't hold back. <laughs> I have no particular connection. I will show no mercy. Setting aside the tiny Mao, there's two Shiten no. Ah, we've come this far. I'm giving up because they're teaming up on us. Lame alias. Seems there's no other way. I'll somehow hold down the fort for you here. You will, but why? Alma Elma stands in the way of Alice's group. Alma Elma, do you intend to betray the Mao and side with the goddess? I'm on Lukachan's side, not the goddesses or the Mao's. That's reckless, Alma Elma! Luca, let us leave this to Alma Elma. We must hurry and escape the Mao Castle. But... but... Come on, Luca, it's the third time Alma Elma's done this. She'll be fine. I don't feel like fighting to the death here, either. If you could, it would really help me if you fled... quickly. That's how it is. While we dwell here, Alma Elma cannot run. Uh, understood. Behind us, the Seraphim are holding off the three sisters. And now Alma Elma is challenging Alice's group. If we escape the Mao Castle, they won't need to remain here. We've got to flee here separately. Come, Galda! How do you know Galda? Yeah, whatever. Breaking a window, Galda flies in. But look, I let it slide the first time, this is BS. First off, she was waiting quietly in the Mao ca castle, not somewhere outside. Second, we walked to the Mao castle because Galda is a giant flying target and she should have been swarmed by Wyvern girls while approaching. At least on the other path, the air defenses were compromised. But fine though, let's escape. Come, everyone, ride her! Now's our chance, hurry! Hold on tight! Fly now, Golda! Quang! Morgan, Hasarot! Follow them! We can't let the heroes escape! Leave it to us, sis! Let's go! Lilith, we're counting on you here. Morgan and Astaroth falling Galda flew off from the Mao castle. Whew, we've gotten pretty far from the Mao castle. As we expect of you, Galda, even those pursuers can't catch up. Quay, quay. Yep, yep, good girl, good girl. 
But I wonder how the Seraphim and, and all my Elma fared. I hope everyone is all right. They are veteran fighters, make no mistake. Retreating independently, they should be fine. But what do we do now? You were supposed to meet the Mao and learn her true intentions. That Mao was killed by my dad. Under these circumstances, we can no longer hope for a peaceful resolution. Honestly, I think the dialogue's flipped into Elias mode, although we came to it on Ala the Alice path. Let's just play along. Anyway, let's contact the other me, the Elias of Heaven. We need to consult her about what to do from now here on. Wait a second, a strong presence is drawing near. There are pursuers coming. Hold it right there. We won't let you get away. We anticipated that you guys would come around to our perspective. But since it's come to this, we won't go easy on you anymore. They caught up to us. There's no escape if we don't strike back. We shall fight, Luca. We never thought we'd have to fight on Galda's back. Further, our opponents are Astorot and Morgan. They're no enemies to get sloppy with. Come on then, we'll beat the two of you and make good our escape. They've gotten pretty strong. What do we do, sis? Pull back for now? No, if we let them get away now, there'll be a greater threat later. We need to kill them here, even if that means getting reckless. Right then, when Astaroth was about to follow up with another attack... Ilyasama! I, Eden, have come to save you! From behind, another figure enters the chase. Aiden, by herself, has come to the rescue. Shit. An obstacle's arrived. But we're not pulling out, right, sis? If the reinforcement is just Aiden by herself, it's not a problem. We'll kill them all here. Aiden, you have come at a good time. You shall support our retreat. Ilyasama, is that support all you wish? Would you not rather kill them here? If you can do that, then you shall. In that case, I shall hear your order to kill these succubi. Please leave it to me. You're talking awfully big, Aiden. Once I pull out my trump card, you two are no match for me. I'll use the Holy Spear Longinus, granted to me by Ilyasama. From inside the light, Aiden pulls out a single spear. That weapon isn't normal. You can perceive it in one glance. Unbelievable! It's Longinus! The other me gave it to Aiden. What is up with that spear? That spear gives off an oppressive feeling greater than its wielder, Eden. It surpasses the level where a thing can be called a weapon. This is an unequaled holy relic which Ilyasama poured her magnificent power into. It is the ultimate spear bringing to a mortal end whatever it penetrates by the authority of God. This is bad. That is... That is God's power, taken form and condensed into a holy spear. I felt a power from that spear equal to even that of the six ancestors or the seven archangels. Destroy Astaroth, Longinus! With that, it in through Longinus. The holy lance flew in a straight line aimed at Astaroth. Get! She was one step too late to dodge it. Longinus pierces Astaroth's chest. 
sis. Run for it, Morgan. The power of divine punishment corrodes Astaroth's body. That was a god's curse, denying her existence. And in one instant, Astaroth's body crumbles into dust. In one mere instant, a Yoma that powerful was destroyed. It, it can't be. Sis. What? Wow. Now, Ilya-sama, take this time to flee. A splendid feat, Eden. Galda, increase your speed. Quay! Speeding up suddenly, Morgan was left behind. Morgan, seeing her sister killed, showed no sign of chasing us. This time for sure, we've shaken the pursuers off. Despite that, you seem distressed. The Mao and Asarot died in succession. Has that been a shock to you? The two of them were our enemies, but still, it saddens me somehow. Until just now, they were talking and fighting. They were opponents, but maybe we could have been allies. They lost their lives right before our eyes. Even knowing that there was no other way, I grieved for them. You must get over this, Luca. Yes, I understand. It's a decision that I made knowing that this would happen, after all. Going forward, we'll be clashing with the forces of the demon world in earnest. Who knows how many such scenes will be repeated. So, once again addressing the topic of what to do next, we need to consult with the other me about our actions. That Elias, if she is as wise as I, is already taking measures, I believe. It is as you say, Elias Sama. Just now we have regained the ability to communicate with you. What we heard in our heads was the voice of Raphaela. It seems that the Maul's secret art cutoff has been restored. What the, se what the Mao's secret art cutoff has been restored. And presently, we will transfer you to our world. Little time will elapse and little will bur burden will fall upon you, so kindly relax. It is quite simple as you describe it. Your space-time transfer techniques have advanced that far, have they? <laughs> we have greatly surpassed the Dark God side's engineering. Furia, were you able to apprehend the com coordinates? The designated coordinates are on standby. We can transfer at any time, Rafael Lasama. So then, commence the transfer. Acknowledged. Executing other world transference. Commencing transfer from designated coordinates. The next instant. An unknown energy enveloped us, Galda and all. And we were guided to the goddess's world. To heaven. Momus Quest Paradox RPG Last Chapter Judgment of Hell This concludes the trial version of the last chapter. Title screen again. So that's the story. Side with the heavens and you get chased out of the Maul castle and warped off. A totally different outcome from the other decision. Okay, so yeah, we got kind of forked. Morton's forked. But they did need to set up some fight boss battles no matter the choice. To build up this great decision for so long and let one of your options lead to an easy win would be bad game design. 
So I said that I would present all of the endings in one video, but it's become clear that one video would be too long, so I apologize for not following through on that. And so I have to close on, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.